Dude, this car is absolutely filthy. My God. Check that out. Jesus Christ. Ooh wee. Just got off of work. I gotta head over to my local grocery store and pick up some food. Today we are going to be doing some tacos. It is Wednesday, so it's not Taco Tuesday, but that doesn't really matter. All right, boys, we just arrived to Save Mart, so let's go get the goodies. All right, boys, today on the menu, we got Kirkland ground beef. So this uh, ground beef is from Costco. Let's see how it turns out. Got the butter cooking real quick. Let's go ahead and mix it up. So this is what I'm gonna use for the ground beef, and uh, hopefully everything turns out pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste really, really bomb. Oh, here's the macros really quick for you. So four ounces. It is 170 calories, 23 grams of protein, and zero grams of carbs, eight grams of fat. So, yeah, pretty good. All right, let's get this opened up and let's throw it in the uh, pan. All right, this is going to be pretty hard. I think a lot of butter is going to be splashing everywhere, but we're going to do this with one hand. Oh, my golly. There it goes. You know what I just noticed? I don't have a spatula, so I need to go run inside and grab one. All right, boys, this is cooking a lot faster than I anticipated, but we need to go ahead and throw the seasoning on there. So I got some chicken salt spice blend. Don't mind the chicken salt. It's not actually for just chicken. You can put this on meat. Literally actually tastes way better on meat than actual chicken. So let's go ahead and douse some seasoning on there. I forgot to buy the uh, taco seasoning and I, I kept saying it to myself. I'm like, I need to get the taco seasoning. I need to get the taco seasoning. And uh, I ended up grabbing Hot Cheetos instead and totally forgot about the uh, taco seasoning. So we're going to make it work with this. This is really good seasoning. My mom bought that at like TJ Maxx. All right, guys, I'm going to let this cook and I'll see you guys in the prepping phase when we make the tacos. All right, peace. All right, let's get this going. huh? So we got our taco shell right here. First, let's put the uh, sour cream at the bottom. Let's get a little dollop of that. Oh, that looks damn good, bud. Smells damn good too. Now the instruction for this taco shell said something about put it in the oven to have it more crunchier. I don't really care. In order for me to use the oven, I'm gonna have to remove all the pots and pans. And then once I'm done using the oven, I'm gonna have to put everything back. So yeah, I'm not willing to do all that. I'm just trying to put this in my mouth and that's it. Douse it with some uh, Taco Bell fire sauce. And let me flip this camera around. This might be extremely close, but who cares? All right, let's get this taco in. Why? Oh my God. Holy hog, that is delicious. Let me go in for another bite. Mm. I will say, definitely needs a lettuce. You need some veggie. And I see why they say put this in the oven to have it more crunchier. Kind of feels a little stale. So if you put it in the oven, it kind of like, I don't know, makes it not stale, I guess, and crunchy at the same time. It cooks it pretty much. Oh my God, that is delicious get everything in there for our last bite monstrosity bud oh my god that is delicious guys i mean it's really plain and simple ground beef i suggest getting the most leanest that you can Taco Bell fire sauce, depends what you got, what you guys like. If you guys like it spicy, get the fire sauce. If you guys like it mild, 
medium they sell that too don't forget to get the uh, shredded Mexican blend reduced fat and then also the light sour cream all right so this is the drink of the day Olipop orange squeeze so so good it has prebiotics botanicals and plant fiber this thing is absolutely delicious supports digestive and immune health definitely definitely recommend you guys pick this one up also pick up the grape one and i believe there's a watermelon and lime one but this one by far top tier number one so let's go ahead and crack her open and get a nice sip going i'm a little parched right now bud That is so tasty, my God. All right, boys, if you guys are balling on a budget, definitely recommend making this. I paid like, what, 30 bucks, plus the meat was like 20 bucks from Costco. So all in all, 50 bucks, and this probably feeds you all damn week, because I'm already getting full off of just two. I'd be packing the shit out of it, look at it. Look at how much meat I still have left. This is one out of three packets. Anyways, let's dig in, check that out, Jesus Christ. Mm, mm, mm. Use that extra sauce, bud. Mm. Definitely needs lettuce. But I can't complain. No, oh, bro. Last bite, you already know the rules. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna have one more. And that's it for the night. So I'm not going to be recording that last one. I'm going to savor it. Oh, my God. But, yeah, definitely, definitely recommend you guys try this out. Um, if you guys need the recipe, I mean, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Everything you see here. I just recommend getting a taco seasoning packet for this. I mean, it's still delicious with the seasoning I used. But, you know, obviously you guys can't get the same one. Like I said, I bought it at TJ Maxx. So, or my mom bought it at TJ Maxx. So, recommend getting the taco seasoning and whatever choice of Taco Bell sauce that you like. Sour cream, I, I suggest going light and then light on the Mexican blend. And then choice of Bev, that's up to you. Anyways, guys, ugh, I'm going to eat one more and then I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to go to sleep. Got to get ready for the gym tomorrow. Sheesh, peace out.